Yo, what up, homies? How's everyone doing? All right, the Fairman Cutlass time. Current lad, I've been dreading this. If I'm honest, like it's got so much detail to it that I've literally been dreading it. But I want a challenge, right? <laughs> That's the only way. All right, so first things first is this one here. This is literally on the Sea of Thieves page. It's just called the Buildrack Cutlass. That's it. Um, but I might edit this more, might add some more bits onto it. I still need to paint it. So I need to get that done at some point. But for now, that can go down here. And then we've all seen this bad boy already. You know, let's bring it up to this one. Yeah, we've all seen this bad boy already. It's lovely and it's light. We all love it. I mean, I'm I'm just love this build a lot, way too much. All right, but now let's put this away. And down that goes. All right. So we are building the Ferryman Cutlass. Microphone, a little bit more. All right. So we've got here. This is a bit awkward, isn't it? I can't. One second. I need to edit my screens a little bit because I can't see exactly what I'm showing you, camera. I need to move things around. So give me, give me five seconds. Let me just move things around. Perhaps if I did it this way. Move that there. And if I move that there. Give me one second, chat. Sorry, I I just wasn't prepared properly. That should help a little bit more. There we go. Uh actually can I bring that over here? I can bring that over there. Fantastic. Alright, we'll do it that way. Bring it over there. Because that actually makes it a lot easier. I need to see. I need to just want to see the camera. There we go. Awesome. That should now be fixed. So I should be able to see it a little bit easier now. <clears throat> yeah, so we have this bit here. Which is purely the unicorn part of the thing. So the way it's going to match out is... Ignore this bit for now. So it's going to match out to... There's your blade. How's that done that? And then, by the diagram, it should. Yo, Danny! Thank you for the six months, dude. Oh, great. All the explosions are behind. I didn't think of that. I literally didn't think about all the. Oh, man, I need to sort of scene out more. All right, Daddy, thank you so much for the six months, man. I appreciate it. Why is my chat bot not working? My chat, like, not showing. Oh, it is showing. What the fuck? All right, you do you. Stream elements, you do you. I have to sort you out. Uh, how we do? We're doing good, dude. We're just currently blocking this out. <coughs> How the hell I'm gonna do certain parts of this? Yeah, so there's the blade, and then this bit here for the unicorn will come roughly about there. Uh, is there any overhang there? There's not. So it goes a bit more back. It'd be a roughly a. About there. About there. And then this little bit here. I just noticed on the camera it doesn't help with white paper on white paper. You know. Probably should do this like a different colour papers, because then you can see it more clearly. And then you have the unicorn piece underneath there. 
So it'd be something like that. So if I take this paper, take this away quickly. It'd be something like that. Yeah, works out. Yeah, but we've done it in sections. Um, so I've noticed when I've got more closer in depth pictures of the actual sword itself is that this bit here isn't really super thick like for the unicorn like part there it's not really thick so that's going to be made out of i'm probably going to go with like a, a five millimeter foam i reckon for that so i need to make two of those this however it covers the whole sword like it, it covers a lot of the sword so i need to it has to go all the way through and my, my swords when i do them i'll get my example i'm gonna be using the build rack cutters for the example so you can see the seams just here like very very slightly this is two 10 mils now if you think that this unicorn has to fit around the entire thing encompass the whole lot because it has to go around the back of it the front of it and the sides I'm going to make this out of 30 millimeter foam. I need to cut three tens, then glue them all together. Then I can start sanding. The thicker the foam, the more easy it's going to be to actually sand a lot of this. Um, it's going to be a pain. But once you've got 30 mils of this, you line up the 10 in the middle. That'd be like in the middle there. And it should give me I could do maths. Five millimeter on either side of the foam to encompass the whole thing. So it should work. Hopefully. You know, hopefully it works. Don't quote me on that. But first things first is I need to get some foam cut out of the blade. So we've got a couple of new little tools as well. Lovely new little tools. This is what I've previously been using to cut all my foam out. It's just a Stanley knife. But, you know, just a, a very simple Stanley knife where the blades are that you know, very small blades. Doesn't give you really a lot of work room. So what I've treated myself to was, once I put that blade away, what I treat myself to is just a very simple box cutter you know gives you a lot of blade room to work with fine but they dole out very quick with foam that's where this magical thing comes into use undo this and we have our own blade sharpener it's a beautiful thing you know I'm going to just sharpen it up as well now before I start cutting foam. I'll be watching a lot of like new videos and stuff of things to learn up on. Evil Ted is a bloody genius as some of the stuff he has. Let's get this nice and sharp. Let's go cut through a bit, a lot of foam today. So when you're sharpening, always fry it away from yourself. Clean enough after you sharpen it so you don't get tiny bits of foam in your glue. Yep, 100%. There is a trick as well that you can do is, when it comes to cleaning this, so if you notice on the blade, it's like the sharpener, it's got little bits of metal left over. You spray a little bit of WD-40 on there, just give it a quick clean with a cloth, cleans it all. But we'll do that in a bit because I don't have WD-40 in my room. Close that up. All right, let me go. Don't need this. We don't need this right now. Just gonna put them out of reach. Don't have my glasses. So with this build, 
there is a lot less parts like it's literally uh for this bit here this is part of the handle uh mainly the grip part back so if i mark this up properly which i don't think i have again which way are you going a second why you make all these blueprints this like dude which one am i doing again Yeah, so this is the back part and then the blade the actual handle comes off of here it goes this way but the uh the handle i'm going to just freehand that so i'm just gonna get like a bit of paper just draw out what i think it will look like and then i can clean it up after but this one i needed to get perfect because it's quite a big part of the back so that goes there's your blade imagine that's your hilt guard right there and then this bit comes like back all the way back here somewhere it's gonna be a huge build really long but the blade is the same size of all the same size i made all my blades just to keep it all the same so that's what uh 53 centimeters the actual blade itself scruffy about having one of these mats you could do measurements straight on the spot but in the meantime I haven't kicked off stream raiders. God damn it. Alright, stream raiders should be up now as well if anyone does want to play that little cool mini game. There we go. Send yo, what up on me? How you doing? Alright, so there's a couple of things I just need to do on this bit of paper first. I just need to clearly mark out some registration marks for myself. So this helps me when it comes to cutting later on and aligning things up so i just need to look at my references just a tad that's see, and also i noticed already on here for the the unicorn itself i noticed a little mess up already that i haven't accounted for so roughly about here I need to cut this bit out, so we're just going to colour that in. This should be cool to watch while you got uh, go steal some stuff. <laughs> nice then. Hey Nick, how you doing? Yeah, I forgot on the unicorn. Nick, thank you for the host. There's a bit here that needs to be cut out. But I'm not going to cut that out until the last end. After all the sand is done. Because if you cut that out and then start sanding you got to break bits away it's going to be messy rather just sand it all nice and smooth then go in and cut the details out after same with the sword well you got this bit here that is marked out for me to cut out once the whole sword is sanded it makes it easy so much quicker and easier for sanding this is going to be such a bitch to sand i'm not going to lie i'm actually quite nervous on this one but hey here's what it is but first things first let's get the blade Oh no, registration marks. Uh, did good here, Nix. Just trying to, like, I'm trying to talk to everyone to, to show them like what's going on in the process. And at the exact same time, my head is going like a million miles an hour of what I want to do next. So that should go roughly about There, perfect. Alright, just gonna quickly registration mark this. Now I know last time when I built a sword on stream that I had like the parts already cut out, so it's just a gluing phase, but honestly I never got time to do it last night. I had way too much fun on Sea of Thieves. You know making like 700,000 gold in five hours was nuts. Right there, basically, what you see there now with those lines drawn on this whole area is not even going to be seen, so I don't have to worry about if it becomes a mess or whatever, it's going to be covered up by the unicorn. 
how I'm going to stick it all together yet, I don't know. Might end up literally cutting away this whole section. Uh, 700k. How long, how, uh, how long was you playing though, Sam? Is that sharp enough yet? Yeah, sharp enough. Uh, but we was doing literally... We were just fucking about. Doing fleet battles. Yeah, that's a long time, Sen. That's a long time. <laughs> really bit of minutes early. Uh, Alright, I'm going to quickly go and take this over. And I just need to get some measurements of the sword and then I can transfer it to some foam pieces and we can sit here and cut the foam out. Nine hours, yeah. I mean, we, we did we did five hours and we got 750 something thousand gold. Uh, but yeah. Nitro Frost, yo, what up? How are you doing? Thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I, I said to guys, if we would have kept going, we could have got a million. All right, I'm just gonna quickly go back and start training this up. Get a measurement for a foam. I can bring a big piece of foam over and we can start tracing it out and cutting it. I need that. Also, very quickly before everyone asks. No, this is not for consumption. So I learned a new trick with when it comes to contact cement. There's this stuff right here. A new little trick I learned is, so you know when last time we were streaming, every time you would hear a little pop, that was the lid coming off. I spoke to a few people, watched a few videos, and I was just like, guys, how are you keeping your contact cement like alive for so long? Like one guy says his cement lasts for about a year. Like keeps topping it up every so often with some uh some alcohol and stuff. He said just ketchup bottles. Just throw it in a ketchup bottle, pour it out, and it'll come out so much easier. Rather than having it in it in a in one of these. The lid will keep popping up every so often because of compression. And also, you're going to save your contact cements for a lot longer. So, now we're using ketchup bottles for this shit. Simple but effective, yeah. Making more than Kaido can daily. <laughs> yo, Sen, how is Kaido, by the way? Splitfire, yo, what up, homie? How you doing? And all good here. Alright, chat, I'll be back in like a couple of minutes. I just need to go measure out a bit of foam, cut a big piece off, and come right back. My pen, wherever the hell I left it. Back in one sec. catch up uh it's why i watch these life hack videos yep they come out pretty cool actually yeah it's just burnt out yeah she has been grinding a lot dude uh smithfire we don't have yeah yeah so one raiders there is a raider battle up right now we've got 21 minutes left on it all right got your phone i need to sharpen this blade up a lot more not sharp enough yet. Right. 
Yeah, that is not sharp enough yet. What I'm going to quickly do is, one sec. Rescue, yo, what up? Just in the meantime, I am just going to quickly retrace the, uh, put a new blade in. These lot, these blades, I will not be thrown away. I have a sharpener for a reason. It's just I want to get a fresh blade in there now, just to speed up this bit, and I can get the WD-40 out and stuff to clean the blades up once I'm done. I hope everyone's having a nice chilled out Saturday, by the way. Actually, can I not open a box to save my life today? as well when it comes to taking these out. Got a lot of pent up creative energy. Try and do something about it, Nix. I know it's easier said than done, right? I'm gonna come back to this in a bit because I fucking hate doing these blades. But up there, just getting tracing done for now. I fucking hate doing them. Alright. We've got a nice bit of foam. Quick little and clean. to be flat when I'm cutting it. There you go. Cool. So we need two of these. So we can get that 20 mil uh, size again. Use that. Just to hold it still. Probably gonna hear the doggo as well going crazy. He's been a little pain in the butt today. Bless him. So I can get over Oh no. 
uh is it wrong if you talk dutch in chat uh well we do ask people to talk in english purely because we don't speak english and please no dropping links dude no dropping links without permission that's rude It's a, it may be a Rick roll, but you don't drop a link into someone's chat, buddy. As for speaking another language, I don't mind it, but obviously I won't know what you're saying. So it makes it a bit hard for interaction, if you know what I mean. For as in speaking another language. If you do struggle, uh, Google Translate may help a little bit. The only reason I don't open links on chat is because there are a lot of people out there who find it funny to drop uh, videos or images that can get someone banned from Twitch. I've seen it happen too many times to people. So that is the swords now drawn up onto the fin. I've actually saved myself a lot of... Yeah, dude, it's okay, man. We're all here to help. You know, there are some people out there, some streamers who will literally ban people for doing that in the first place. I'm always about how trying to help people and educate people. All right. So obviously you can't barely see these drawn out like last time i need to get a better uh webcam for the cosplay the, the one i'm using now like the c920 if i had another one of those for here it'd be a lot easier sammy hey how you doing yeah i mean you can see it clearly on there if i bend it there is the cutouts there for the blade Try to straighten this up a little bit more. Yeah, that's why I don't open videos up, dude. Of uh, anyone who says a YouTube link. Unless I really know the person, then yeah, that's it. What's it? It says cooperating more. That'll do. Alright, so let me move this out of the way. I'm going to give the small blade a quick uh, sharpen. And luckily, I'm wearing an old t-shirt just to get rid of flakes. Just sharpening the blade off a bit. Sammy, is TJ ready for the uh, next tournament? Let's go to a quick test cut. Uh, see, something's wrong with this blade. I need to change this blade up. 
fuck's sake. One second, I'm just gonna change this blade. Like, it needs to be done. really like doing this on camera. Really don't like doing these. Fuck it. Uh, what swords have we made already? We have made the Ashen Cutlass. We've made the... Uh, Bildrak Cutlass. The... Legendary Cutlass. So we've made three swords already. Uh, if you type in exclamation mark sword, then that will give you a link to the one that I made Beard of in, and then I've got two other swords here with me. Hey Mordecai, how you doing? Alright, I'm just gonna get rid of some of this excess. I don't need it. Makes it easier to cut with. Yeah. Always keep your scrap phone. Uh, always keep it. This shit will come in handy a lot. And it's make it more easier to cut down straight down the middle. I can work one at a time. One sword at a time. Yeah, the ferryman is the one I'm making right now. So this is the ferryman cutlass. Let me get this template out of the way because I'm going to need that. Got all my registration marks on it. Registration marks are your friend in this, by the way. Like marking out where you got to glue certain things. All right, let's begin cutting. When you're doing your cuts, you want to keep your cuts at a nice, good 90 degrees. Then that way it makes it easier for sticking together and less sanding. <laughs> More like a slapping. <laughs> Don't need that. Use that for doing other bits. Currently sailing with Festus. See where I mate, second to last mate. Give me one second, chat. I need to get these cuts precise. these little bits here because they could be a pain in the butt. Oh. <laughs> Vodakai doesn't even know what leaderboards are. Sen. <laughs> You're asking way too much for him. Alright. I've been very tempted to play The Last of Us 2 recently, but I want to play it. But I think if I was to get it, I'm not going to stream it. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I'd love that. 
know how many ships I've sunk in a year. I mean, I've got my kill counter to keep a track of that, but you know, be nice without having to do it. And that is one blade done. So we need two of these, <laughs> and then we stick them together. But for now, let's put that over there. Pack on with another one. time strategy genre do you mean like company heroes uh, or, or Rome to or total war or the total war series <coughs> yeah I used to work on uh, total war I worked on Rome total war 2 and Shogun 2 And uh, a tiller as well, a little bit. I think it was called a tiller. But that was so long ago. Yeah, those battles, dude, were really hard. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. The battles in that game were stupidly hard. Uh, even for someone who basically tested it for like so long, I was still failing battles, even campaigns. When you had to do a natural campaign without any debug as well, it's like, mate, some of these battles are stupidly hard. I mean, you complain to the developer team, you go like, "Yo, it's hard. Get good." <laughs> that sucks. But it was generally because I was just shit at certain areas. Get that little curve. And there is blade number two. Now I've gone over some of the lines, like they're not perfectly cut out in certain areas, but that's fine. That's what I'm expecting to happen. That's why you got sand in. You put these on top of each other. And they don't perfectly line up. They never do. Run one around. That's the one. But that's what you got sand in for. Uh how much time do you think you could do it in? Uh this one. It's mainly this bit that's gonna get me. The sand, like the the making the unicorn part in general. This bit here, I I, I don't even want to guess how long that's gonna take. Like so much sanding, and I've never done some of those angles before ever. So this is a challenge build for me, if anything. Uh. I'm in no rush to complete this. I reckon I'm just gonna see how we go. We're gonna cut for so today's gonna be is just a blocking out process like we usually do. So we've got the sword blocked out. No sanding done yet. Now we're gonna cut out three of these. Now the reason I need three is actually as well as I can show you now. Because that's gotta go over there. Over the top. Gonna stay there? Nice. That's gotta stay there. And I've got to have another one on the other side, but it's also 
got to go over the top of here. So this needs to be 30 millimeters thick. This is 20. So you put the 30, kind of like, once we cut it out, you can see the pieces, but it's gonna be, that's gonna be a fucking nightmare. But once that's done, then we need these bad boys, which will cut out of five mil, and that will go there. So it kind of gives you a representation of what it's gonna look like. Uh, plus the stream rate is about to start, so I'm gonna have a quick smoke break. <laughs> This is definitely going to be um, a challenging yet fun build. A hundred percent. But I love, I love these kind of builds. I love challenging myself. Also, is anyone on the insider? Now I'm not insider by, by the way, but more of the new insider sword that got uh, released or shown yesterday. Because that sword is on Google Images. That sword looks fucking beautiful. It looks so good. So uh, I might make that sword. Danny, have you got a link for it? Uh, can you link me up? All right, so stream is about to start, by the way. So let me get that up. The stream does cover up the chat a little bit. Let's go. This first thing, I can't even what it's called. GG. And our winner is Nix Creates. All right, now I need to pick a path. Shit. I already fucked up the path. I always go here to get that. Crap. All right, well, we're going to take the top path so we can get that one up there. And then we'll go down to the boss. Yeah, we'll stick on this way. Cause that's a little thing bunny told me you know you want to plot your route to get the most chests and i messed up already first part so my apologies blackbone yo what up homie how you doing all right let me just quickly find a sword one minute what's the new one The silver blade, that's the one. I want this bad boy. So I'm gonna show you some string quickly. I wanna make that next. I really wanna make that sword next. That is a beautiful looking sword. That, that looks beautiful very basic as well which i really like i like simplistic designs so like the whole blade very simple it's got a nice curve on it as well it's kind of like i've got a curve of like um an arabian style so i really like that and then the jewel as well easy to make that whole circle oh mate it's good oh, that's gonna be a beautiful build to make so yeah i am making that for sure Yeah, that 100% is being made. Like, it looks beautiful. Oh, my music. Come on, don't do this to me. Thank you. It looks sweet. Absolutely, dude. It looks sweet, right? That build. Oh, look, that sword looks so good. Yeah, that one's getting made for sure. All right. I need to now cut out. I've got a little bit of paper here that tells me what I've got to cut and what. So blade, two ten centimeters, done. So millimeters, they're done. The unicorn, I need three of those. The handle, which is this part here, but the back part, I need one. 
So I'm gonna try and get like everything blocked out into one so I can put like that there, that there. One piece of foam to cut everything out in one go. Uh-huh. The unicorn part, I need this to be with... My measurements are right. 10 millimeter, 10, five overhang, five overhang. Those will be made out of five millimeter foams. So I'm going to go write this down quickly. So uni five millimeter times two. Would you like an almost 1080p image of that sword? Uh, if anything, dude, I'd need all angles of that sword. Like, you know, when, when it's actually released for insiders and they've got their hands on it, I'd need to find someone who's the moment they've got it. So I think Bunny has it. Well, we'll, we'll get it. Um, I will literally be like, dude, I need to grab all the reference images from you. Because I need to get my character model inside of his to get pictures of like, the handle and the thickness of the blades and certain parts. Yeah, I mean, that's not a, a while, like, first, this build. <laughs> uh, that that sword got me hyped up, I ain't gonna lie. All right, let me go and get a bit of foam. This is five millimeters, so that's for later on. So put that to the side. I need some foam. We get three of these, then one of them. Is it one of them or two of them? I need my reference image. Uh, one of them. Maybe two. We'll see. First, let me go and get some foam. To cut this out. So I need to take this over to rough how much I need to cut out. With that and that. the uh, template goes Pandio what up I want the foam to be flat flat enough Put a little bit of weight on it after every so often perfect what time it is by the way next time seriously they should sponsor me amount of fucking pepsi max i drink on string <laughs> all right let me get my pen and this is the fun part start tracing down again I need to block this out so I can fit at least three on here. So, one, two, may not fit on there. We'll do it for this way though. Ah, screw you. Get that, put it on there. Uh, the sword's going all right so far. We're, we're in the, uh, Today's the blocking out phase, you know, the blades are cut, we're going to get everything cut out in blocks and then we'll cement some things together. Once the cementing phase is done, then I'll be in the garden probably a lot tomorrow, off stream, sanding everything. Hopefully it works, Ho hopefully. If it don't work, then I'm going to have to come up with a new solution of how I'm going to make the unicorn. We'll try an error.
Also, I am downloading uh, the videos for the previous cosplay builds and they will be going up to YouTube. We're going to have a section on YouTube purely for like, which is just this entire VOD will be going on there for anyone who wants to watch those back. And I will put a link to downloading the templates. Uh, the other one I'm happy with now for the legendary cutlass. So I'm going to put the template up uh, probably in the discord today or tomorrow. And then if people want, want it, they can use it. They can make it. Obviously, just credit me for the template. That's all I ask. And then once you, if you do happen to make it, share it. I'd, I'd love to see what you guys, what you guys do. I didn't do you. Always one part I forget to do. Really like this 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 soundtrack. It's like just so chilled. I mean, while you guys are listening to this, I might end up putting a different song on for myself. Oop, missed one. There's one. You can't really see it, so I do apologize. You're not really seeing a lot right now, but you will do when we start doing the cutting out phase. You can see it all coming together. So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna put this one here, and then what I can do, I can flick that one there. Now what some people, yeah, when you're doing like usual cosplays, um, let's just say I think you're doing one part, a left side of something. What you gotta do is just flip the the template over to do the other, to do the right side, or vice versa. But because these are gonna be stacked on top of each other, like three of them, you don't need to do any flipping. I mean, you can if you don't have room on your sheet. So if like, oh, I can put one here and then I can put one up here, then flip it. Yeah, make make use of all your foam. I'm trying to get as close as I can to the previous one so I can still keep this area here to do more cutting out and not wasting foam. Because uh, if I'm honest, I'm running out of 10 mil foam. I don't have a lot left. So I'm going to have to order some more in. I think with the 10 mil foam I've got left now, I've probably got enough to make one more sword. Just. If it's a very basic design, which might be the uh, the insider one, There's a lot of that I can do out of five mil. You, but draw around you. That one there, one there. One there. Yeah, there is ways you can speed this up. If you know someone who's got a 3D printer, um, not a 3D printer, a laser cutter, they can literally take your design Point into the machine and it'll cut the foam out for you already done so it's, my god is it so much quicker oh just moved it 
Crap, 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 crap. I guess it was some pins. Uh, we're going to make an eye reach. Yes. Uh, I was chatting last night to people about what kind of eye reach we should make. So, I was going to do the obsidian eye reach. But after looking at some of the designs for the other one, like the Reapers one, the Reapers one looks so cool. But where's the fun in doing it the easy way? Uh, it's more of an efficiency, if anything, dude. Like, if you want to be efficient, if you have someone who has got it, like if I knew someone who had it, I, kn I know someone who has, but he charges. And he charges a bit of money. Um, plus, he lives on the other side of the country. Like, if I could, I'd use it. Because it's so much more efficient. It means I could just come in and we'd be like already at the gluing phase now. Make a shovel. Nope. Yeah, sure. What up, on you? How you doing? Ugh. Alright, that's two. Train that line up a little bit. I didn't like that line. Okay, with that one there. Okay, with that one there. Didn't like that one. Alright, that's two. And all we do is. Perfect. Go there. Gives me all this foam still to use in a bit. Tennis run. Again. Back on there. Kind of oh, drawing. What I know some people do is as well, like you know how I'm drawing it onto the template first, like onto the foam. People who are ridiculously good at this, they'll be able to stick their uh, template down and just cut around it at first go. I am not that good. <laughs> like, I openly admit I'm not that good. What's everyone been getting up to in seas lately? What epic stories has anyone got to tell? Or epic fails they want to tell? time to play sea of thieves this week unfortunately uh managed to get a crew together and looks like we may cross swords at sea of champions oh la la oh literally okay let me, let, let's have a little quick chat with everyone here for a second that one is i want to give the um the pen some time to dry so it doesn't like you can see on my hands, I'm getting well, you can't see because it's very, very, but I'm getting ink over my hands. So I just want to give that a few minutes to just dry and then we'll cut out. Everyone who's been signing up for Sea of Champions in like the last couple of days have literally, if you're coming by to me, is saying, Yo, I signed up for Sea of Champions, I'm gonna crush you. 
So, has everyone got it out for Galleon Guys 2020? Like, is it, are you guys conspir conspiracy against us? Like, it's just funny. Like, this is people I know as well, like, you know, so it's, it's just friendly, old, good old banter. But I'm just loving it. It's just like, are you guys all talking to each other? Are you guys all conspiring to take out Galleon Guys 2020, the three times champions? <laughs> All I'm going to say is to everyone is in Sea of Champions, especially this is for the Galleon event only. Watch a mid deck. That's it. Big, it don't, 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 don't even go for Sea of Champions, actually. Go for anything in Adventure Mode, Arena, Sea of Champions, any tournament on a Galleon. Watch a mid deck. Please watch your mid decks. If your mid deck gets pummeled too much and it starts to, you know, have tier three holes in it, the moment that water level comes up to your upstairs, you're gone. You ain't recovering. Uh, yep, it's me, Beard, TJ, and Fox again. We are the champions. Well, we're not the champions right now because we did lose the last one. So, uh, yeah. We have to go and reclaim our title. But the team we lost against, my god, they were they were good. They were really good. Alright, cool, that's ready. So I've got on here as well. Uh I don't know if you can see it on the paper. There you go. I've got these lines. Which will help me for when it comes to doing my sanding. So I know like cool. In between this line and this line. I've got to bevel that in. It's got to be like a nice bevel shape. Uh, for every single one of them. It has to be beveled from point to point. Point to point. Yeah. This bit here. Literally has to stay as it is. Like the same thickness. The same. It has to be flat. So I have to keep that in here. Uh, was it four months ago? I can't remember. No, dude, was it? <laughs> Could be four months ago, Mordecai. You, me, uh, when we, you know, when we played uh, Sea of Champions, Mordecai, um, that was before Christmas, dude. That was that was before Christmas. Um, that was like eight months ago. Yeah, that was that was that was that was like eight eight nine months ago, Mordecai dude. The first, I think it was the first Sea of Champions. I think, might be wrong, but it was a uh, Beard Fox, Kaida, and I can't remember who their fourth was back then. Made it to number seven, one point five mil to get six. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Beard Fox, uh, Kaida, and TJ, yeah. What? Well, no, that was more than 500 beers, mate. <laughs> Alright, let me cut this out. I'm gonna cut here. Because then I have this nice bit of foam to do this bit here and any other bits I want to cut out. Always try and make the most of your foam. Let me get these out of the way. These scrap bits of foam, always keep them. This is the contact cement in here. It means I can just pour a little bit on, use that, spread it around. Yep. Okay. That's for later. Alright, let me get cutting. First of all, what I'm going to do is because it's very intricate cuts, I want to make my workspace a lot easier. Oh, 
There we go. That makes it a lot easier. And I've already cut down like certain parts of it already. Might as well. I figure out how I'm gonna do some of these angles. Also, what I'm doing as well is I'm using use of the lines on the map to help me guide when I'm doing straight uh, 90 degree cuts. Right, this one's got a curve on it. Barely moving the blade. Like I'm putting the foam into the blade itself. There we go. Getting there. Let me cut this big bit of foam away because I don't need it. It's just more to work with. Make it easy on yourself. I know some of my cuts are off a little bit, but it's fine. Because we're gonna do a lot of sanding on this. Careful it. Yep. Yeah, if you are gonna be doing these, Please, for the love of everything, please be careful with the blades. And if you're cutting anywhere, get yourself one of these protective mats. There is a way I could do this to speed it up. If I was to get three of the, sorry, 30 mil foam stacked, on, sorry, 10 mil stacked on top of each other three times and get a long blade, I could probably cut out the one big thing, but my God, would that be a hard cut? Like, it'd be such a hard cut to do three at once. Yeah. Let me just put these 
need a tabletop band sword, dude. I'd love one. Unfortunately, my garden isn't that big. Uh, it will get everywhere, Danny, with the, the, the foam dust. All right, so that is one done. That's it, can't even see it. But yeah, something I might look into, Danny. How's the hunt, house hunting going? Uh, it's going pretty good. I've got... So I'm saving up still for my deposit. Um... I was going to rent, but I am now going to go buy instead. Um, it just seems to be the most easiest option. Uh, not really, dude. The prices haven't really changed at all. Like in London, the prices, dude, uh, for a, a one-bedroom place in London, it's like three hundred and twenty thousand. Like, if I were to move outside London, uh, which I am contemplating doing, then I would move to somewhere like Great Yarmouth or something like that. Um, like I can get a, a two, three bedroom up there for about under 200,000. Whereas in London, a one bedroom is like uh, 320,000 for like a one bedroom place, like a nice one. Um, because London's my home. London's where my work is. If work was to say to us, "Hey, we could work from home permanently now," I'd I'd go and buy a place now, like in like Yarmouth or Scotland or something like that. I'd be gone instantly. I'll go and buy a place. Oh, stream is right, so one bit's cut out. Let me put the blade away. We've still got two more to cut out. Crawley as well. Uh, the only reason Nick, I need to be relatively close to work, I don't want to be traveling too far. I hate the underground. I have to get the underground to work every day. It sucks. Let's see. The thing is, with that Nick's is. The further you go out from London, the more you're paying to get back in. And a monthly travel card in London is costing... Depend so say if you go from like... Kent, uh, Kent, for example. It's about £400 a month for travel. It's just too expensive. Ghosts, you're right. Yeah, from Gatwick next. So Gatwick to London will cost about 350 to uh, £400 a month. Because I need to get into central London for work. A zone, like the zones that I use for London Underground right now is costing me £90 a month. It's so fucking expensive, London. Come on, two enemies left. Get him. Get him. And the winner is... Wonder Kid. I like this new this new event they've got on. Pretty cool. Uh, no, I don't want to use my tank. Berserker's out of commission. Let's go with Rogue. There we go. Yeah, London's just expensive, General Nix. Like, uh, so what I do when I go to my office is that I walk down four stations 
just to get out of one of the zones so it cuts my price down a little bit so it adds like a bit of a walk to my uh to and from work but it cuts my price down because i'm skipping a couple of stations which in cuts out a complete zone just like i'd rather cut out a zone than pay the extra I used to live in richmond i've lived in london all my life i mean i lived in scotland for a year but my god i missed the scottish like cheapness all right next bit let's cut I mean, GG to Beard as well recently, like, buying his uh, house. But hopefully everything goes through for him, man. He deserves it. He's put so much bloody hard work and effort uh, into everything he's been doing recently. He deserves it. And by the way, when I say Beard, I mean Beard again. For a studio flat. Yeah, Nick, that's about right. Uh, they've actually gone up now, Nick, as well. For a studio uh, around my area for a studio, you're talking about 1300 a month without bills. Actually, I want to get this cut a little bit different in here. Get that angle. You know what's crazy though? When I lived in Scotland, I was paying £350 for a one bedroom with a garden with bills. Just saying, the difference. And I loved it up there. So just doing very quick cuts. To uh, get this little awkward part out because it's going to be sanded as well. So it means I can get more sharper angles on certain parts once it's actually sanded. And now the long cuts begin. Break that off. So these going to look messy for a bit, but it doesn't really matter if they look messy. I uh, never checked the electro uh, electrics, even though I thought it was speculated the contract that they would. Uh, I don't know if he's had the mortgage cleared and everything yet, but I know he's getting really close. How many bills did your garden hold? I mean, my garden, it, when I was in Scotland, my garden was quite big. Like it was actually re relatively big. I think my garden was probably the size of my bedroom. Which is quite big. Like it wasn't a lot to manage either. I mean the only thing when I was in Scotland is that man. Every time I was like, hey, yo, do you fancy come around for a couple of beers in the garden and just have like um, some food and stuff? Get a little barbecue going. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Got organized. Hello, rain. It's like, fuck's sake. Every time. At least in London, you, you can kind of like, is it going to rain? Cool. Don't do it. The rain's more predictable. Yeah, dude, yeah, the weather's def uh, definitely different compared to Lon uh, England. Like London, especially. I mean, Danny will be able to tell you. I think, Danny, you live in Scotland, don't you? was a good cut. I'm actually quite impressed by that cut. <laughs> Used to. There we 
we go. Man, that's a good cut. I really like that one. Danny, when are you going to start doing some of these streams, man? Like, building streams, cosplay streams. Totally do it, man. They're really chilled out compared to what we used to do in like Sea of Thieves. I just gotta snap all this off. So I'm saying here, so if you had a uh, someone who has a laser cutter, literally that's how the phone will come to you, like. You know, you'd see like the cuts already done. So all you gotta do is just this. Literally just come along. And you just be doing that. Just ripping it off. You have to do some cleanup, which I've got to do anyway. But that's the difference between like if someone's got a laser cutter and they could do that for you, mate. Use it if they can. That's two. Pretty ready to do it. I get that, lady. I get that. Yeah, they don't line up perfectly, but that's fine because we've got so much sand to do on this shit. I'm gonna be in that garden a long time tomorrow. Oh, look at that side. It is gonna rain. Yeah, 3D printer. Uh, well, it can't do foam, no nicks. Um, and I only work with foam. I've been looking to get a 3D printer, but it's more of... When I've seen people use 3D prints, there is so much more work you have to do as well, of like curing time, and then the sanding you have to do with a 3D print. It's my god, it's nuts. I'd lose my mind. Uh, what time are we kicking off tomorrow? Uh, pass. I'll get back to you. coming through now one there one there so I'm definitely gonna probably get a better camera for this bit here so you can see this easier and a stand that can actually look downwards when I'm this is happening um, it is in my things to do but I've got I'll make a stand as well for it instead of buying one you ever noticed I like making things. If I get the opportunity to make something, I'm gonna do it. Same with like my green screen. Made that all by hand. But it's not great, it's not perfect, but it does the job. Cut that bit of foam away, make it easier. Hoping my measurements are right. Really hoping right now. Because if they're not, I'm going to be so pissed.
but that uh that i have reached by the way um was what the reapers one looked really cool if you still have your old mic stand you could use that to put the pc camera on. uh danny my mic used to be a headphone mic uh, it was a pair of hyperx clouds that was my microphone before i bought this <laughs> i used to be a headset one so i took a big jump right between going from a headphone you know uh that a headphone user with a microphone to a full-on you know audio technica at 2020 with an xlr it's like that's a big jump uh Pablo just messaged me he has 25 grade 5 reaper flags right now he farmed up 25k per flag in points so 8.1 but same when you say farmed how did he farm them and how long honestly last night when we played last night there was a a, a crew that was sailing around with a reaper flag like reaper emissary they got to grade two and then they disconnected and then i saw another one got to grade one disconnected it's like what the fuck are people doing like we need to get our grade five stills but not one person yet was grant we were the only ones with grade five That annoys me when I see people saying like they've got that so many Reaper flag got like level five. It's like, dude, how? Where? When? The fuck I'm not gonna this shit shit. Wait, probably him and some friends on a server together. He's a good guy, so not annoyed, but uh, about him. Just it's a huge amount of points. Again, so basically that's what uh, a, a an alliance kind of style they've done it in get grade five here have my flag get grade five here have my flag is, is that what you're saying i just need to get my bin to clean out uh well honestly sen this is why and i get a lot of hate honestly i've gotten so many people message me recently about this of why I think it's shit and I should just stop talking about it. But those who do a server alliance takeovers and do that shit, you're assholes. Because you're wanting to win. You're wanting to be on the top. It's not fair for the rest of us who want to play naturally that because Alliance server takeovers happen, that you can just trade items in and out. It's not fair for the rest of us, you know? And then when you get people saying, I don't like PVP, but the moment they've got their accommodations done for, you know, oh, I've done my event. I don't need to worry now. They'll go into the public servers then and go and shit on everyone else. So that's, that's where I get really angry. Like once they've got their once they've got their accommodations and their loot done and you know for whatever event is currently up and if some of them are publicly admitted to it once they've done what they need to do they then go into normal uh adventure mode and basically go around and shit on other people that are trying to do their their stuff it's like it's a it's, it's a cycle we need to break we need to break this cycle of i'm gonna go into a private server or public server so, an alliance server, do my shit that I can do. And once I've done, I'm gonna go and rain on people's parades. Then it forces them to go into finding alliance servers. It's a, a cycle we need to break. There needs to be a way to break the cycle. If I had my way, and as, as shit as it sounds, I would get rid of alliance servers. The whole alliance thing, I get rid of it completely. we need to break it 
then it then needs to Ren needs to seriously think of a way to break this endless cycle and the fact they're promoting uh the alliance system you know with partnership i don't like it i don't like it Ugh. all right enough of that shit. let's go back onto this so there's our sword now we've got three of these now that's a chunky boy a really chunky boy so what we do is put that there and you can kind of see how i'm going with it kind of like that but uh that's kind of like something like that there with how i'm going with it Something like that. Just gotta make it work. So there's a section I need to cut out of this once it's all glued and once this is all sanded. And then I can stick this in between it. So it kind of be like. Where that one? something like that so that's what we're going to kind of end out with like once this is all done so this is pure and you got all that bit there like that's missed obviously that'll be covered up you won't see any of that in there but this is the blocking phase so it's it's getting there got a big chunk at the back yeah i'm actually quite happy with this it's gonna be a different story when I start sanding. All right. I'm gonna line most of this up. Make sure there's any cuts that I've got to do just to straighten it all up. So it's not perfect. You can see like, oh, you, it's not perfectly lined up for everything. That's fine. That's what the sand is for. I want to make sure as long as there's no big cuts I need to do, then the sander can take care of it. Let's increase that gap there a little tiny bit. That's going to be a pain in the ass to get in there and sand, like in there. But luckily, I can bend it like that, sand it. So, uh, great thing about foam, put a heat gun on it. You can literally bend this all the way back. Uh, and it will stay like that as well when you heat it up. And then sand whatever you've got to do in there, heat gun it back again, force it to go back there, and it will hold that position. So, that's a great thing about foam. Same in here when I need to get in here, so I need to kind of like force it open a bit more. Uh, that's fine. All right, next phase is the. I'm gonna get everything made first, and then we can start doing all the gluing in one big go. So there's them. I can all got a big pile of foam here, just sitting there. All right. Excuse me. It's a handle time. Now, usually when it comes to the handlebar, like the actual grip handle, I usually go 10, three 10 millimeter uh, sticks. And what I'm gonna do is get my, There we go. Perfect. And I have my ruler, which comes in handy for checking out the ovens.
So this is my example sword that I use a lot for when it comes to doing handles and stuff like that. So you want it to be comfortable in the hand that you've got plenty of room still to move your fingers. You know, not too much. So all that is measured in is 12 centimeters by four centimeters, 12 by four. So we're gonna do is 12 by four. Don't leave my pen. Twelve centimeters long. Is that mark gone? I've just literally just lost my mark. And starting to dry out a little bit. Which is not good. Alright, so we've got that and that. Then we want 12 by 4, so 4 centimeters for each ingestion. So, what I'm going to do is just make it easy on myself. Straighten this up. Line it up with the beam like that. So, I get nice straight lines. That's one, two, three. Just need three of them. There, nice straight line again. I'll have a look in a sec, then. Like this. And what I need to do is now basically I've just got a square, but right. that's where I'm going to be cutting the handle from. What I'll do is root of that for every four centimeters I come out draw those perfectly straight also if you want to know a little trick as well if you wanted to just do it very quickly if you have a ruler, this ruler, or a ruler, that's roughly four centimeters wide. So if you just put it in the palm of your hand, that's kind of how you want the, the the blade to fit. So just imagine, just hold the ruler, be like, cool. And now what you can do is you can just hold it in your hand. You can be like, you got bigger hands or wider hands. You could just use the measurements on there. That's it. probably the, the easiest way for measuring if you want to find out what kind of size of the hilt you want to have the hilt specifically made for you tile the air be like all right cool so me doing that comes to about 10 centimeters i always go 12 it means i've got a little bit of loosey play so i'm not doing that all the time doing that yeah how should you get that like, little bit of loosey play it does help like having a little bit of extra movement So I can't even. Sen, are you serious? Are you serious? Fucking sh shit. That's super fucking shit. All I say, man, fleet boys can't PV, uh, can't fight. So, uh, yeah. Bring me wrong, come to, come to actual adventure mode.
All right. Uh, now I've got that. Just quickly, oh, one second. I'm just looking at my blueprints because there's something I need to do on this blade. I, I just need to. Yeah, I'll say I'm just looking at this blade because I need to do. What's that ping on? So on the blade, the ferryman blade, it's got like indents. Now looking at it, goes like inwards to a certain point. Has like a curve on it. I'm not going to be cutting along these curves. This is for me when it comes to sanding. And then another curve. I need to do one of them. And straighten that one up there. And then it also has on the curve point. It's just before the curve point. So line there, line there. One, two. It's got three of them. Uh, that one's actually quite deeper in. Okay, I did get rid of that one. And then the last one's about here. This one's a lot thicker though, so I need to probably increase that by about that much. On there. And you have a thick outcome here, which kind of works better. And what I can do is I can flip that so this is going to be top and this would be bottom by the way these what I'm doing on here now is when I'm done once I'm happy with it I've so what I'm going to do is just put it up to there as the screen and then I can look back on it myself and grab a screenshot of that and then I can make that into a template for everyone later on so I'm going to put it to a better camera There we go. So that means I could draw it onto a template for everyone and then I can incorporate it into the final template design. So it means you don't have to do what I've just done. It's more of just I like doing a bit of free handing every so often. And then I've got this bit here as well, which is the end sword part. So I want to put that right there. I need to see how many, how many do I need of them? How many do I need of them? I'm gonna need. So the reason I'm looking at it this way because I've got my other screens for all my references. So I'm looking at them all that super zoomed in. So these are gonna be thirty. These are all ten mils for the 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 sword handle, which I always do my handles at thirty mils and sand it down to about, about 25, 26 millimeters altogether thickness. But then the back part of the sword where it comes like this bit here so you have the sword there and this bit attaches to here with a curvature which will come around here after I need to then make the thickness of those because they're very but they're, they're very bony like they're not super thick but i need to think from a foam point of view of the uh, stability of like keeping them like if it was one if it was this say this for example that's just gonna bend and break really easy and they're not super thick they're like, they're very they're thin as well so i might need to make those a bit thicker than usual just trying to think sorry chat one second it, this is where my head like everything in my head is going through my mind of like how i'm gonna do certain parts um, let me kick off stream radius while I can have a think of like how I'm going to do those parts because I need them to stay stable And it's, it's literally going to do my head in uh, Yeah, Bill I've left it to Sea of Thieves because it is Sea of Thieves related um, It's more of the category You really enjoying this end? Not crave it all but you, uh, you explained it super well I do appreciate that man so 
I have that as a 10 mil. With a runoff of a 5 mil on top of it. So that could work. Yeah, that could work. I think I'll do 20, 20 millimeters thickness and then sand them the hell down. So I think what I'm probably going to do is for the actual blade. So the handles are fine at 30 mil. Because you need to fit your whole hand around it. Uh, the the end part and the bit that comes round, like around here. Probably going to make those out. I'm going to make them 20 mil. But after sanding them, they'll probably be about... 17 mil which I think works out really well 17 mil if it don't work I can always just readjust my uh, my foam template and recut it yeah okay let's cut this on first so this needs to be 20 mil let me try and fit two of these on here so I'm not wasting foam Flip that. There, should work. One second. I can hear someone at my door. Alright, one sec. I've got to go downstairs now. Wait a sec. Yo, sorry about that. I just had to uh, accept the delivery of shopping we just ordered. I actually forgot. <laughs> Alright, where was I?
There we go. That's one. Now, can I be sneaky and get a second one in there? Ah, I can. But I will be streaming tonight as well. So I'll be doing a CFE stream again tonight. And then I'll be streaming on Sunday for a little mini tournament we've got going on in Coops for a 1v1 pure arena. You sink, you're out. And uh, honestly, last time we did it, it was so fun. I've, I've really enjoyed it. All right, so 20 millimeters of those. Now, Potato, yo, what up, homie? How you doing? It was fun to watch as well. See, I need to fix this at the bottom here. For some reason, Stream Elements cleans out all my chat whenever I switch scenes. So I need to fix that. Yeah, I need to fix that. But we'll fix that later on. Another, that's another problem for another day. <laughs> yeah, another problem for another day. All right, so. Got a handle. Got our back of the hill. Now, how many segments is those two pieces? Uh, the the rest of the handle that comes round. So, what I'm going to do is is I'm not going to do the two segments that come from here that wrap up to the front of the sword. So to the, the hilt of the sword. Because I need to adjust the uh, the sizing. So once I've got it met, those made, those cut out, I can then just basically go in there and freehand it, go and call this, this, and then I can get into the template later on for everyone. In the meantime, cutting time. Again, this here, this is not for consumption. This is not to drink out of, this is not to eat. What is in there is this stuff. It's contact cement. This shit is poisonous. If you eat it, or you, you know, just don't eat it. But the reason I've put it into here is that after speaking to a few people, they've gone, what happens is you can see the tin is a bit like, you know, bent now. There's so much pressure that builds from this stuff when you open that tin. And this whole tin goes really cold because it, it reacts to the air, which is why I give it a really super strong bo uh, bond. So much pressure builds up in there, the lid keeps flipping off. So that last time, do you remember when we was uh, when we was building the last one? I was like, fuck, what was that pop noise? It's the tin every time popping up. Chat to a few people and they've gone, literally pour it into a ketchup bowl. This lid will keep it stuck, like so it won't come out unless I, it's stopping the air from getting in there. It's also easy to pour, so it means I can just go in there, pour it into the areas I need to pour it in, close the lid instantly, and use uh, some old foam bits to spread it about and do what I want it to do with. Work out really well, it keeps it as a good watery base. And if it does get thick at all, all you've got to do is add some. Um, What's the uh shit? I can't remember the name of it. What's it? It's gonna annoy me. I've ordered it from Amazon. It's really gonna annoy the hell out of me now. Uh, adhesive cleaner. Yeah, so my adhesive cleaner. It's the same make as this, so it will be compatible with their stuff. And you just put a little bit of cleaner in there, give it a good shake, and it will make it all good again. The cleaner also works out to clean out a lot of the uh, seams that you mess up. But that's for later on. Sadly, the cleaner hasn't arrived yet. Like, uh, the contacts went cleaner, so it's like, where the fuck is that shit? I need you. Remember this bit as well for the unicorn? I need to make this out of 5mm foam. So, we're going to do that, like, 
towards the end. That's going to be a bitch to sand on 5 mil foam, if I'm honest. So what I might do is... Uh... No, we'll see how we get with 5 mil foam, but what I could end up doing is get a, te a 10 mil piece of foam, sand it, and then cut it direct straight in half. But uh, that means I'll, I'll have to count, uh, cut a perfectly straight line all the way through it, and it could be a pain. But we'll see, we'll see. In the meantime, let's get cutting. Let's cut the handles. If anyone's got any questions, or they want to know any little tips and stuff, or any anything you want to know just just feel free to ask and it could be anything like how do we do the templates how do we know about the measurements you know what kind of foam to use for certain things as well because you've got so many different types of foam you've got high density foam you've got low density you've got crafting foam there's just so much it's nuts You've also got uh, clay foam as well, which is basically it's a clay, but after it cures for 24 hours, it turns into a foam. Like the same material that this stuff is made out of. Really good for model making, which I might end up using if I don't like the unicorn figurehead that I'm going to make. So there is your handle, and that is my references for. Uh, when it comes to sanding so that one needs to stay visible at all times but i like that there you go put your hand around it the way i always try and do it is that if my thumb can touch my middle finger then it's a good fit so sand it down and it'll basically it will work perfectly that's ready for gluing How do I figure out the proportions for the cutlass? Now that was a tricky one if I'm honest because in game each cutlass has their own so di many different sizes right? So I kind of wanted to go with a symmetric cool like size to keep everything balanced it means it makes it easier for myself when it comes to making the cutlasses and the way they they are looking for the person who's holding them in general um it was a hard one to do it was a lot of trial and error if i'm honest like full-on paper editions i made so when i did beard again and sword i must have made about 20 prototypes yo thank you for appreciate it yeah so when it came to making the the actual size for, uh, for, that, for that sword I made about 20 paper, like just, just like these. Just these here. About 20 of them. All different sizes, all different thickness, like, like length and everything. Just to get the right size proportion. And the way I measured it was, literally, it sounds stupid, but it works. I went into, got a mirror. So I stuck this to a piece of cardboard so it doesn't flap out like it does. Went to a mirror. And I literally just did this. And two, I was happy with the size. Like literally, that that's that's all I did. Cause it's hard to also base it on the characters in Sea of Thieves, because everyone's character is so different. Like you got short characters with shorter arms, you got characters with longer arms, you got characters with like thicker arms. So it's like really hard to get the, the proportions right, basing it on all the different variations of characters. So that if I was to use one character's size, then it might be too big. It's, it was really hard. So I just went with what worked for me as in, went into a mirror, got a version of it, held it there and I was just like, cool, do I like the size of this? Anything I want to change? Cool, yep, go back. Want to make it a little bit longer, back and forth loads of times. But I've come kind of like a raw thumbnail is for the blade in general, any blade I'm making, they are, if I could, just quickly put this on a measuring scale now for you again. They are 52 centimeters for every sword I make now. Just just for the blade. When it comes to like the handles, 
and all the other bits and pieces they've all got different measurements based on that but 52 centimeters seems to be like my go-to figure now for all the blades that i make it just makes it easier as well to kind of have like a a value you can use over and over again and it knows what you're working with over there helps dude it's not like the best way of explaining it but it's what worked for me it's fine what what works for you you know is this the first one i've ever made no i've made a few dude uh so i have so i have made this one for bit again uh i made him this was th that was the first ever sword i made that one there the forsaken ashes cutlass wicked yo what up homie hayden that was the first one i've ever made so if you follow that link you can see beard he unboxed it and it was too scale from what i thought was a good size and then now from there what we've got to made is So we have that bad boy. Oh, can't even see it. We've got this one that we've made to scale as well. And we've got this one that I haven't painted yet. So we've got we've got a couple of swords that I've made and they're all the blades are the exact same size. They look different based on like the curvature and stuff of them. Because once I've made the blade, I heat gun them. So like then bend it in you know to get like that curve that you want and if i don't want a curve then i'll just bend it straight back out so this one here this was all flat and then once i was happy with it i sanded it and then i got the heat gun and i basically heat gunned it and pulled it back a little bit just to give it that curvature more and then uh heat sealed it as well yeah we made a few you can't see it properly there here though Just as if using these dual wielding swords. Had a bit of foam in my ear. What the fuck? Yep, see if it's Uh so do you compare them to one another to help you for dimensions for future ones? Absolutely. Absolutely, every one that I make, I'm always thinking of ways of like, what dimensions do I need to improve on here? Like, I seem to have a good, pretty much like, for the handles specifically, I've got a good grip on like, these, like the dimensions. So those are, some, I've always kept the same. It definitely helps. How much for the legendary cutlass? Not for sale, my dude. However, they are a part of a giveaway that will be happening in September for a charity. So everything I'm making, all of these swords, all of the props I'm making from when we did the legendary cutlass up until September, every single prop that I make will be a part of a giveaway for charity. So it starts to raise money for a charity. And then basically when we hit certain donation goals, uh, giveaway will open and then we'll be someone could potentially win the sword yeah i don't i don't sell these because i don't like um letting people down like as in say say so say for example someone's to order one from me and i'm late with delivery or because i've got a full-time job as well and i work like pretty late sometimes um I don't want to be within time constraints to work on something and get something done for someone. And if they're not happy with a certain thing as well on the sword, I don't want that to happen. So that's why I'd rather just build them, make them a part of a giveaway for a charity. Uh, someone else sells them on Etsy. I just thought I'd ask how much you make them and sell. So yeah, I don't make, I don't sell them. I make them. Um, Fox makes them. Fox die. He does 3D printed versions. So all of my swords are made out of all of my cosplays. Sorry 
are made out of foam so they are cosplay safe and they can be taken to conventions 3d prints sometimes the security at conventions won't let you in with them because of the materials that have been used as in it's a 3d print you can still hit someone really hurt them with it whereas this here's someone with this it's just foam you know it's not gonna do any damage to someone see i always try and make uh make all my cosplays cosplay safe as well which is one of the reasons why i don't put a um any uh, rod support in the middle but like it'll make them more stiffer and more versatile um but it's cosplay safe so here's someone who so she won't uh make the sell you hate giveaways well it's for a charity dude like it's it's purely for a charity that's why i'm doing these Also, never throw away your scrap foam. Never do it. Scrap foam comes in so much handy. Like if you've got little bits like these, yeah, throw them away. You ain't gonna use them. They're too small. When you got pieces like this, keep these. You never know when you might want to make like a quick little like shape in some of these. So always keep your scrap foam. And it also helps when you're putting the contact cement on. Use a scrap piece of foam just to brushed it on saves you wasting a brush you could just throw this away after you're done always try and keep your phone like scraps it's a mistake i learned a long time ago i was using paint brushes to use contact cement on and uh wasted so much money on brushes there's also they're a pain in the butt to clean with contact cement Also, if you notice here, when I'm cutting this, I'm not even moving the blade. I'm moving the foam around the blade because it's really good high density foam and the blade's super sharp. So it means I don't have to do much moving around just to get that curve. Once I've got the curve, then I move the blade. Basically make the foam work for you. Snap that off, cut these bits out now I don't need. You always want to try and cut, unless you intentionally need angle cuts, try and cut at a 90 degree angle, always. And don't worry about like any, this is where people get disheartened when they're doing these. When you see like the little fluff, like, oh man, it looks horrible. Or oh, this one's probably the best one to show it. But look at that, look at that, it looks horrible. All those, that fluff and everything that's coming off of it. All these bits here, flaky. Don't worry about them. The moment you come to sanding and then you heat blast it as well, like with a hot air gun, they just fly, uh, literally fly off. But we won't be doing no sanding on stream because I need to be in the garden for that and I don't have enough room for a camera. All right, that's one blade hill. But I've also got another cosplay in the works that I am making. I, uh, some of you might have seen it already. But I'm building a Star Wars um, X-Wing fighter helmet. That I can wear on stream for when Star Wars Squadrons comes out. And it's uh, fully built for my headphones as well. So my headphones fits inside of it. And it looks goes with the cosplay. That means, you know, when Squadrons comes out, I'll be in cosplay for it. Just for a bit of fun. And I'll be joined by a Behaven Beardley as well, who will be doing the exact same thing. I think a few others. Right, there's that one. Oh, I've got to do the curve. Again. 
to get the foam in. Just work the foam. Don't work the blade. And once you've got the curve that you need done, then work the blade. that one Just clean these up god i've got so much scrap foam <laughs> it's good thing i got a box for all this so i literally have a big box that's about uh 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters full to the brink of scrap foam i literally keep that for everything Can't wait to see you play. Uh, you guys play Star Wars new game, dude. It's gonna be so much fun. Have you guys seen the helmet? Let me just grab it. Ugh, I'm cool on cables. There you go. It's very simplistic and basic because it has to be comfortable for me to wear on stream but if you look to the side i've got coals cut out on my headphones to go in and then also i've got a rivet here for allowing my headphones to sit perfectly in there and it won't move around the back of it looks like absolute trash no one's gonna see that on stream like when we're playing the game your view will literally be That, that's literally going to be your view for the whole time on stream. You're going to see the logo, the paintwork, and the headphones, and that's it. Yeah. But again, I've got a template for the base of the helmet, not the, the rivet that goes over the top. But I have got a template for the base of the helmet which i will put up as well for anyone who does want to make their own helmet they can um just be just be warned at a sack even though it's basic it will look a bit shoddy like like mine does at the back of it it looks really shoddy you have to use like really thin foam to cover up a lot of the gaps but it does for like a very quick and cheap dirty cosplay like helmet if i'm honest does job All right, let's recap on all the shit we've got already. But I need a vape. Let's recap. So let's block it out and you guys can see how it's kind of looking together and how it's coming out. So we have, there's the blade. This is the back of the blade. Look at my template. I want it that way. There's the unicorn. There is the handle, or one of the handles. For demo purposes, we're going to just imagine this as the hilt guard, just for demo. So that will go there, that will go there, that will sit on there, that will go there, and then we have these bits which come around. Uh, about here. And then we need a bit of foam. So we're going to use the pen for an example, which connects from here to in here. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more further out. So we'll be about here. But that gives you a representation of how the sword's going to look. This this is why, how my process always works. My process for my buildings is templates, sizing to check the sizing is correct. Go back to the templates and readjust it if needed. Cut the templates out onto a piece of paper. Now for all the templates, 
transfer the templates to foam then cut all the foam out you want to keep it as blocky as possible because once it's blocked then you can then come to the block phasing where we're at right now which is to see how is it looking how can we feel about it is there anything i need to change obviously i need to cut these bits out here but that's for later on because i need to work out the sizing mainly from but this needs to have two there you go yeah mainly for the sizing purposes i need to figure out how i'm going to go from here to here and what size do i want to go so i need to figure that in my head and then we've got three of these that's going to cover the whole front of the sword all the way to the back of the sword but we've got three of them yeah it's a lot of more it's going to be a lot of me now figuring in my head off stream of sanding but uh first of all let's do stream raiders because we're now at the gluing phase which i like doing so what we're going to do is we're going to glue the blade together the handles together and all of the unicorn pieces together so we've got three and this back bit so we've got one two three four sections to glue together and that's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven pieces to stick together so yeah that's gonna be fun Alright, once that's done, I'll explain about this stuff here for anyone who doesn't know. Eleven enemies. Sorry. Eleven allies. Four enemies left. Three. Two. One more. Nice. Ski tech. Uh, sorry, ski tick. Let's continue to scroll. GG, homie. Uh, we want to go up here. Get that screw that box. Uh, let's bring my berserker in. Ugh, my stream deck's so far away because my microphone is in my face. Yeah, there we go. All right, now can we move back? So, when it comes to this stuff, by the way, it has a low odor to it, but it still has an odor. So please, when you are working with this, I usually work with this outside. Because it's uh, just well, obviously more fresh air, but it is starting to rain, so I can't now. What I'm going to do is I've got all my windows open. Uh, every single window of my house, sorry, my room is open. I've also got two fans, one over here, one behind me, all blowing towards the windows to get basically to push any of the fumes just outside. And I've got an extractor fan behind my monitor, which will help as well to take some of that out, which I will turn on now, actually. Luckily, it's not loud. There we go. So I've got a little switch under my monitor for the extractor fan because it's right there and I can't reach it by hand. Is that on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. All right, yeah, that's on. Yeah, again, this stuff. I usually use um, Evo Stick uh, 528 con uh, contact cement. So this is my first time using this one, by the way. So, uh, we're gonna see how this goes. So yeah, I mean, I've got. Let me show you the 528 one. So this is the one I usually use is the uh, Evo Stick 528. But when you open it now, because it's been sitting there and the, the lid's not been on properly because of the pressure, it's literally turned into a glue. Like, it's a big gloop. Like, you can't even see it in there. But basically, it's not work. Look, I, I can hold it upside down and it's not going to come out quick. It's just turned into a big gloop and it's wasted. But not for long. Luckily, I've got some stuff that's coming that will degloop this a little bit, so it means it can be reused again. And then I can get another one of these, and I can pour it into there, and it will protect the glue for a lot longer. Usually, you can make your stuff last for about two months, maybe three. 
if you can keep it airtight. Yeah, so that's why you gotta be careful with this stuff. As in, when you open that pot, it's gonna go. All right, this one is a perfect angle for spreading. We're gonna work with the blade first. So let's clean up my desk a little bit first before we start doing anything else. Now I do have on this button, wait, what just happened? My stream just gone down. Whereas my stream manager just told me it's just gone weird. Okay, it's still here. What the hell? You tell me my stream just went down for no reason and tell me it's not. Lies. Lies. Okay. So we do have on here. We have, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. We've got lines that go across straight here. That is for when I need to sand to get that shape of the blade like a like make it look like a blade and what I usually do is I'll glue this together first then draw on that onto here so I know exactly when I need to bevel but we also have here that's where the unicorn's gonna fit so if I grab one piece of unicorn this whole part of the blade here will be cut away like later on it's gonna it's gonna be completely cut reason is because that's where that's gonna fit in right there but there's a little bit of the blade here that needs to be shown like ever so slightly a bit of the blade needs to be shown so what I might potentially do is I could always just put that bit back on like glue it up back on later on but we'll see I might work with a, a different technique something I can figure out once it's all glued together then I can still figure about techniques that I want to use yeah, that's that's for a later time. But look, first of all, turn my fans up more. There we go. Clean my strip because I don't want to get any of this shit in. All right, that's the gluing phase. The old pot we love, right? And it will hate. What you want to do is, you've got two bits of foam stuck together. It's not going to be perfectly lined up when you stick these together. Like, I've got big gaps here. Sanding will take care of that. That's fine. As long as it's got the majority of the certain angles that you need, you'll be fine. What you want to do is flip that over. You need to coat this side and this side with the contact cement. Let it touch dry. Once it's shininess is gone, then stick it together. But when you're sticking this together, be careful. Because the moment it touches, that shit ain't coming undone. You would need to rip it. And by ripping it, you could damage the foam. But there's a little tip I saw recently, which I can show you in a bit, once I get this done, which will help. Like I said, just come in here. Basically just squeezy butter one. makes it so much easier I'm honest just doing that you're just basically you're painting it on it could be like a paintbrush get all the edges now you're gonna need more but try and go with a thin layer first Gaps. 
So that, that little bit of melt there I've just done, it's almost done the entire sod. Yeah, it gives more of an even spread, absolutely. Also, it's less messy. A little bit there. A little bit there. After every use, put that cap back on. Oh shit, this 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 shit's drying quicker than usual. Holy shit. I think I might have found my new contacts in I like. Holy shit. Yeah, 100%. I definitely think I've just found my new contacts mint I love. This shit's drying well quick. Tiny bit there. All right. Well, the good thing about this stuff as well, when it dries, you've still got time to work with it. Don't think, oh, no, it's dried. I can't use it anymore. You want it to be dry. The drier, the better. Because the moment it's dried, that fully, you know then it's ready for cementing. A little bit off there, put it in there. Right, that's that one done. Jesus Christ, that was... <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually quite shocked myself right now. That was actually brilliant. Loving it. gone over it twice because now I'm realizing how much of a base I need to cover. How about big loops? You can get rid of them. And that nice even spread over it. So I can tell I've got too much over in this corner here, but that's fine because I've still got all that over there to do. And any excess that I do have, I'm just going to quickly just throw it onto the other stuff anyway. Never let any of this go to waste. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of excess here. So all we do is... We just push that over there. I'm going to some of this. Get off my finger. some of this glumps off here as well let's see just transferring it over to the other stuff two and just grab this little bit of glump here that I've just seen let's smooth those out a bit So one bit needs a bit more. That's fine. It's going to be dried by the time you do the second one. Absolutely. Uh, this stuff's low. Yo, Mario, what up, homie? How you doing? It's dry. This stuff's drying a lot quicker than I expected. So uh, that's something to keep an eye out for, for when I do my next one. Like I said, this is my first time using this separate contact cement. So it's definitely a lot different now compared to you uh, used to using. Try that then. Not a lot, just a little tad, just to cover those areas that I miss. And I've got to move that a little bit there because I just noticed I've got that bit there. All right, now we've got to let it dry. Up a fucking finger for a start. So these are drying. 
I'm gonna put these bits here first. They need the longest curing times. That's fine. I mean, that's that's basically ready. It's still shiny though, so. Yeah, I've got to experiment with the drying times here. It's a lot more, um, so compared to the previous stuff I'm used to using, it's a lot more, it's, it's definitely a lot thicker. Um, but we'll see how it does for the holding test. Like if it doesn't work and I'm not happy with it, I can use uh, a, a way to remove the, f the sealant that I've used. And I can just basically order some more 528 and then use that stuff again. I'm always up for trying new stuff. So this is what we're currently using. Put that there if anyone wants to know. It's not a sponsored stream. Just materials for people want to know. <laughs> Oops. That one's almost ready. That one's almost ready. Oh, we're near ready. Almost ready. Yeah, we're getting there. This is like some big chunks here still, but just go away from to dry up. Tap them down. Is don't be in a rush when you're doing this. Just take your time. If you rush it, you're gonna mess it up. So just let it let it do its thing. How long are we going for? Two hours and thirty-eight minutes, and we've got everything cut out, and we're at the gluing phases. We're a lot ahead of schedule than I thought we'd be, if I'm honest. Uh, I thought we wouldn't be doing the cutting phase until at least about three and a half. Sorry, the gluing phase took at least three hours in. So we're about half an hour ahead of schedule. Get sticky. So, Rabbit, how you doing, homie? Yeah, for the next, like, sword, I usually put the swords to vote of what we're gonna build but i really want to build that it's on the insiders it's been posted on twitter uh i'm not a part of insiders but i know some people who are and they can get me all the pictures i need i am building that next like it looks simple and it's just it's a beautiful design that's definitely getting built Oh, mate, I've just seen that Behaving Beardly has like some epic burgers right now. Oh, I hate him. Burger time. Oh. I hate Behaving Beardly right now. Guys, look, if you're wondering what I'm looking at, by the way, this just popped up. Behaving Beardly is eating some epic burgers right now. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. oh yeah, I forgot by the way, yes. For everyone, for all my American friends, happy Freedom Day. Happy Freedom Day. If you've got those freedom emotes from Zalorum, you know what? Whoever's got the Freedom Day emotes right now, spam them. Spam the shit out of them. If you've got that freedom emote from Zalorum, if you've got anything that like freedom, just spam the shit out of it. Uh, Rabbit, that Discord link ain't gonna work right now, by the way. Uh, I forgot to turn that off. I do need to turn that command off. I do apologize. I will get people Discord invites out. Um, I'll quickly just touch up on that, why I've done this. So, there's been a couple of people asking why the Discord link isn't working. Why can't I join the Discord? The reason I've turned off Discord invites just for a little while is that there's been a lot of people out there going into people's Discords, you know, acting friendly, 
and then spamming racist images and images that are not you know be, just being absolute assholes you know there's been a lot of people that have been doing that already in people's discords so just to protect the discord for a bit i've cancelled all invitations so that people can't use that link so i've just deactivated it as well i forgot i had a command still for it uh so i do apologize if anyone who has recently tried to join the discord i'm so sorry but just bear with us and we'll, we'll get it back up and running it's just that they're basically the assholes are ruining it for the majority of people so i, I do apologize so i'm a mod for one of my mates discords as well and Danny Dino Gamer made me aware of this, of um, you know people going in there being racist in people's discords, and then when I went to my mate's discord, one of his rooms was literally full to the brink of racist messages. I had to spend about half an hour in his discord cleaning it up for him, so that's why I've turned off mine. Uh, it's just people going into discords and being racist, so I've disabled discord uh, invites for now. That's all. You had another one the other day too. Danny, turn off your discord, mate. Invites for now. Just turn it off. Do what I've done. Just turn off your discord invite. Don't let anyone be allowed to join discord until shit calms down or you, or at least you can vet people, right? Like, especially for like us smaller communities we don't have like mods and stuff around left right and center we kind of have to manage our discords ourselves so that's why i've turned it off because i'd rather invite people once up they have been here for a while and stuff and then get them in there yeah all right that is dried glooming time let's see how well this contact cement does so you won't be able to see exactly what I'm doing while I just get this bit done first. Load of bit. Oh, oh, fuck me. That's stuck really well. Jesus Christ. Sure, it's just kids uh, thinking they're edgy. It's just kids being fucking assholes, if I'm honest. So you won't see this bit while I'm doing this because the camera is a bit over there and I want to get the edges first lined up. So if you notice what I've done is that on here, I ain't even gluing the backside yet. I'm only gluing the front. Once you get these lined up, the rest of it lines up really well. Always work at an angle when it comes to cementing. I work on one side only. Cool, that's that done. And now I can basically hold that with my hand like there start coming in to align it not gonna be perfect doesn't need to be just need to touch it uh, it just needs to once it grabs cement then it's gonna hold and then once you've got it on there that's when you can start putting a bit of force into it you don't need to do too much force just a little bit and that shit is now cemented that ain't coming off there's a little tip i do if it wasn't here last time i'm gonna show you a tip again once you've cemented stuff just do this give it a little bit of a bend you're basically manipulating the, fo the foam to contact cement a lot more aggressive you know you're, you're, you're putting a force onto it without actually doing any force in general That would take 48 hours to purely cement, by the way. So that's now out of commission for a while. And we're off to these very quickly. Again, top to top. And then sides. Doesn't matter about if they go over the top, if they're not perfectly in line, you're going to be sanding so much of this shit anyway. Now you notice this bit's already got contact cement on it. That's fine, that can stay there. I need to put some on it. 
That's why I'm leaving my guild too. Yeah, I, c I can't be bothered with that next. That's why I've, I've had to close mine. So just a bit, bit on here. Not too much. Uh, when you've got contact cement left on your brush like piece, just cut it off. That could be enough thrown. Now you've got a new piece to start brushing with. With that little brush. Turn it around. This is a new way for me doing it as well, by the way, using a bottle. So I've got to judge how much I need to pour in. So this is a learning experience for me here right now, like doing that. But let that dry, put that there. We'll do those two pieces once they're dried. We're just waiting for that one to dry. You can tell the difference in dryness as well. If you look at that, that is like, you could, you could barely see it. It's wet. You look at that one. Like a clear, like you can see it. So that's ready for touching together. What we can do is now prep these. We're going to do two first. We'll do this one after. So we can cement these two together. And then we can do it. So make sure they line up. Doesn't look great, it's got all those little pieces everywhere. It doesn't look great. Once this has been sanded, it'll be fine. So you want that bit, flip it. Those are your two sides, you're gonna be cementing together. Also, I just want to quickly just check my phone for a second. All right, let me get this bit done now. pour a little bit here a little bit here and let's see how we do with this you know about food no worries dude i actually need some food soon i'm honest i think i've got pizza I need a lot, just need to work it. And then move on to the next. I actually quite like this uh this contact cement mainly as even though the 528 goes a lot longer, this stuff really doesn't have any odor at all. So uh so that's a win in my book. Even with all my extracts on, still win. I might end up doing like a review on this stuff. Maybe a tad bit more. Just a little bit, just for here. Actually, that's... Where's that lid? Now I'm already presuming, but once I've finished with this, this bottle can't be used again, but I'll wait and see. Let's see how we get on. Might be able to reuse the bottle for more cement. Might be able to clean it out with the, uh, the cement killer. Only one way to find out is once we're done. Yeah. Like a spider web. Get off. No, seriously, get off me. Get everywhere done. Right, let's glue this down. You'll probably notice I talk to myself way too much when I'm doing this. Like, because it, it, the way I like to work is saying it out loudly 
helps me know what my current process is what I'm doing as well. Everyone has their own process, right? Of like, even for anything, even jobs or whatever, they have like a process they like to think of. For me, it's saying it out loud. Now we've got to let that dry. The bottle is a 200 IQ move. <laughs> uh, Evil Ted for the tip for that. Literally, I, 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 I was scouring all over the places of what can help me with getting a good layer of cement on, but also preserve the cement like to keep it in its watery form and not gloop up because once air gets to it too much it will start to cement that dry like it is here now um and then evil ted said like literally get ketchup bottles they're cheap you can pour this whole tub into here you get a good amount and it will last a long time compared to being in here because it creates a pressure inside of here that you can see on the lid it's there's nothing in here but when there was it just forced the lid up the moment the air got to it it's just gone whereas here it's not even bothered trying to come out it's trying to just keep it as it is all right let me stick these together now they're ready one side to one side one side to one side one side to one side cool there is our handle now, remember the rule of thumb. Uh, yeah, dude, I'll be able to think from this uh, Sea of Thieves, yeah. We are currently today building the Ferryman Cutlass. Welcome. The rule of thumb is way to fit your hand perfectly. And as long as your middle finger touches your thumb, it's a good size. <laughs> So like that's that's my rule of like when I'm doing uh, handles for any swords and stuff. As long as your thumb can touch your middle finger, then you're at a good size, and then you can sand it all down once it's done. And once we've stuck it together, just bend it. Just bend the foam to force that cement to take hold more. Like this contact cement is brilliant, but a little bit of extra force never hurts. So now we need to let that cure. Play with a blade. The blade still needs to be cut, it still needs to be uh sanded down. But that is not coming down apart now. That is stuck permanently. The only way you're getting that apart is by ripping it. And you will literally destroy the foam by doing it. But in the meantime, we have a stream raiders while we're waiting for these two bits here to dry. Where you tell the dryers, if they're still shiny, and if you put your hand on it, it's still a bit wet. They're not ready for cementing yet. So that one definitely ain't. That one's done recently. That one that just done just now. Drying time takes usually between about five minutes. But this stuff is actually pretty quick, so it's working a lot quicker than I'm used to. Which I like. Uh never seen a ferryman cut this. Uh I, I've already seen it in game from a couple of people I know who own it because they bought the controller. I never played Sea of Thieves back then, but I wish I did. Just to get the cosmetics. God damn it. <laughs> Again, once it's all built, I'll alter the, uh, the templates a little bit and then I'll throw them up so people can download the templates and they can build their own ones if they want to. With all like the the sizes as well so i don't know if you can see that like the blade times two centimeters so that should be millimeters not centimeters same with the unicorn and the, the rest of the stuff once i've got the measurements done i'll put the templates and put those specs up for anyone who wants to build their own one all right let's go with one more I'm going to bring my big guy. I don't really play him a lot. 
if you do want to take part in this little mini game that we have going on please uh follow a link that's just been posted sign in with your twitch account and you could drop a unit down every five minutes and then every half an hour we kick a battle off it's a fun little mini game to play while we're just like here chilling chatting just waiting literally waiting for glue to dry last time I was waiting for paint to dry and we all remember that right chat that was fun literally waiting for paint to dry <laughs> So I've made the full transition as well now back from so stream elements so stream labs OBS to or slobs as people know it as to OBS studio and uh I've gotta say it's using way less CPU uses now. So OBS Studios kicked up their game a lot recently. I definitely picked up their game. It's GG's So you can see I'm just touching it every so often. Just like not forcing it down. It just just touching it every so often just to see how wet it is still. It's still a bit too wet. You always said it uses less. It didn't use to Nix. Uh so right now I'm only using CPU usage. I'm using 2.1% what we've got currently going on. Uh whereas when I was using slobs. It was like four point seven percent. But previously, when I used to use the OBS Studios, it was using about nine percent for something like this. So it was it was nuts. Um, but what I have done is I've been able to reduce all of my uh, scene usage because all of this, so the layout, the latest follower, like basically everything that's on there except for the cameras, is all being pulled from uh stream elements so none of it's on my pc anymore it's just all being pulled from stream elements as a web browser for the backgrounds <laughs> yeah next year that's the only reason i left uh left obs studio to go to slobs because of the cpu usage and then now i've gone back like it's been a while it was probably a year and a half ago and then now i've gone back to studios and it seems to be a lot better now so i'm happy all right probably about another minute on that and that'll be ready that's fully ready like that is that's definitely fully ready that just needs a couple more minutes So I've just bought The Last of Us 2. I was going to stream it, but I'm not going to. Reason being is I feel for something like The Last of Us 2 won't be a great interaction between me and chat. No, like you guys know I like to chat to you all and this is what I love doing, but I don't feel The Last of Us 2 would be a great interaction because it's a game like that, which is very story driven. I want to be immersed in the, uni in, like, in the universe, so to say. Like, I'll have my headphones on, I'll have my screen on. I'll, I'll be, I'll, I want to get fully immersed into the, the story and I won't be able to interact with chat. And so I don't think it will work for, specifically for my stream, it works for other people's streams, 100%. Uh, like Cyborg, uh, Angel, her community, they absolutely love it, and they they're they're, they're a great community. And she's a great streamer as well. If you don't really know Cyborg Angel, you should go and check her out. Um, but for me, it's it's not my way. I like to. I can't, I can't get fully immersed into a story and then look at chat. Uh, just the way I am. So I'm like one of the one of those old school gamers when it comes to like a game just just came out. I want to sit there. I want to just chill out. Lights off no distractions from anything for a game like that which you've been waiting for so long time for like when you've been waiting for a long time for a game like that you want to be fully immersed <laughs> i'm sure there's a few people can completely understand that it's like you want to be fully immersed for a game you've been waiting for a very long time for all right sticking time i want to be very careful here 
but I'm going to start off with the base. I'm going to flip these upside down. I'm going to start with corner to corner. Don't be afraid to bend the foam as well to stop pieces sticking. So here's a little tip, by the way. If anything does seem like it's going to be sticking, put a bit of paper in there. It stops sticking the, uh, the contacts went together. I just throw a bit of paper in there. Just until you get the edges lined up, and then you can just remove the paper. This was a little tip I learned from uh, Odin Builds on YouTube. Really good uh, creator of foam. Like the whole putting a bit of paper between the foam. Basically to stop it just sticking together. Now I've got a bit here that I need to manipulate a little bit. And now I've done that. Nice. Actually really lining up really well for this one. Maybe a lot of sand in, but still. Look about Panda. Alright. That is the first piece stuck together. And it actually came up really well. Like as in not too much uh obviously overhanged here but once you start sanding job done let's get the next piece ready so you want this one to go in here you want to flip that that way i don't know why i just shoot that like a ketchup bottle then Let's go. Like a brush. Just brush it on. Don't be afraid to, like, if you go over the edges, you can always clean those up. Again, when people start doing this or when they come in and see it's like, oh, it looks nothing like the Ferryman Cutlass. It won't. It won't look nothing like the Cutlass just yet. It will. Once you start sanding. Each sword's got its own different process of making as well. Like, some will look like the sword immediately. Some won't. Egg, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. Man, I need to fucking try and sort that lot of shit out. So Nick, I spoke to Beardley about the um well when people host it doesn't show up and it's actually stream elements that does it beardly uses a combo stream elements for everything except for that one alert that one alert for when someone hosts that's come from streamlabs that's the only alert he has from streamlabs so uh that's something i need to fix stream notes is rubbish I actually like stream elements. Like all my brow everything on here is a full browser. Like my background, the everything, the only thing that's on this screen right now is my camera, that picture of the ferryman cutlass, and that's it. How you doing that dude, by the way? GG yesterday, man, that was a lot of gold. A little bit there and a little bit there. Just been sitting with Danny. Did you give him any Ribena? Kitty, yo, what up? Should 
true as it's still in beta when you consider it's pretty good compared to, yeah i mean i i used to use streamlabs like non-stop because i was using slobs but i decided to go to stream elements because i can get everything as one browser source for everything but like, every single one alert now that i have everything is all through one browser source for every scene i have And that was a pain in the ass to set up, I ain't gonna lie. But once it was done, it was done. Didn't need to worry about. Ooh, I've got a little bit of drippage. Ooh, get out of there. I don't want to sand you later. There we go. One second, chat. I just have to work a little bit faster with this stuff. This one's drying a bit quick well, compared to used to using. Uh, done great five order of sold runs, robbed another ship for uh, flame art stuff for the second of it. Nice. Was the clan released? All right, and we've got to let that dry for about five minutes. When it's short, this is definitely on properly. Okay, about that gets stuck. Just want that to be stuck there. Sunk a ship while in the crack and a skelly ship spawning us. Sounds about right. Yep. Yeah. Alright, now we've got to let it dry. So, handle was done. The last bits that we need to stick together is these bits and then these bits here and then pretty much we've got the block of the sword made and then what that means is that i'll be doing a lot of fucking sanding but i've got some new sanding tools so i'm quite happy with that some smaller very smaller ones uh to fit specifically for this also if you notice on this i've got all these lines that i need to now once i'm done transfer to the foam so then I know. Uh, what you done with the last one? What do you mean? It's here. All oh, my swords are here still. Yeah, they're all, literally all next to me. that lid down a bit more i'm paranoid about the lid coming off but it seems to be doing a good job yeah i know i know we've been over this remember buddy they, these are all gonna be for charity they're all gonna be for charity i may actually consider honestly once the charity stream's done and so every single sod i'm making every single prop i'm making right now up until september the date to be confirmed yet still will all be for the cherry but honestly once i'm done then i may actually consider opening up like one a month or something like that commission to actually build a sword but we'll see and still stream it building it i may consider doing it uh but the only thing is if i was to do that i would probably only make the commissions be uk based only purely because of shipping like with the way the world is right now with with shipping stuff i'd want to make it easy for shipping like if i was to ship to the us oh that's gonna be a fucking pain especially the nightmares i've heard and honest to god if i was to open up commissions and someone wants to go hey can you build me the ferryman cut this get the fuck out <laughs> i'm already dreading this one i can literally almost feel it in myself already just feel like oh fuck no please no again remember the rule just give it a quick touch if it's still wet so that one is a little bit that one still is a little bit just gotta give it some more time before we can 
Stick him down. But the blade's come out. The fairy man's got a nice blade. It's got a nice, nice blade to it. Very simple. I like I like simplistic blades like in general. Egg. Uh, if you're still here, by the way, this one is going to be next, I think. I think this this one needs to be built next because it looks beautiful. Like it's a very simplistic design, but it looks beautiful. It just it just looks very simplistic. I mainly like the uh that the um, what's what's just the part the handle. Uh, the handle I just like the look of the handle and I'm I'm already thinking in my head, how would I do that out of foam and how would I get those curves and that stuff like that? Just yeah, I I like that. I like looking through my head and thinking, oh cool, that's how I could do that. What's the Twitch no uh, notifications just got? Oh, bit again. Just gone live. All right, that is pretty much dried. Reaper's Heart Sword, that is on the list, dude. Honestly, that is getting made. That is getting made 100% the Reaper's Heart Sword. Was that in my was that in my li my list last time? It was, wasn't it? Where's, where's my where's my last like yeah the reaper's heart cutlass yes that is getting made i've just looked at my pictures yeah that is 100 getting made reason why i want to build the reaper's heart cutlass because of that red i've got so many ways of when it comes to painting that red that i can make that bright as fuck as well like make it look really bright but then in certain lighting it will uh actually appear really darker as well it's oh, it's just so beautiful it's a beautiful looking sword i would love it if rare was to go to me like the people who make these swords like the animators or the sorry the 3d modelers just be like yo can i have a chat with you because you're making these fucking look awesome i'd love it also because i could prick their brain and be like yo next sword you make can you please make it i've got to do less sanding <laughs> all right again remember little tip a piece of paper in there means you can st don't stick them together it sticks to the paper but the paper can easily be removed it's more of just getting that, that initial grab If, if one of you 3d modelers from rare happen to ever watch this i love you but i hate you at the same time you make my life as someone who likes to build your cosplays like your your models an absolute nightmare especially for those who like to make it out of foam realize how much fucking sand you're making on me do all your cosplays that on now we can literally force this on by doing the old bending technique get off my finger yep, just give it a bend a little bit forceful with it you don't have to worry about breaking it and again so at first i was worrying how am i going to get in here and sand this bit easy heat gun it get really flexible full spend that out like that leave that to cure like that so it gets stuck there permanently come in do the sanding heat gun treatment put it back job done now retain retain that shape once i've heat gun treated it multiple times but there's the part of the unicorn for the uh, for this bit this will need to be made out of five millimeter foam. So if my way I've done it right is 
I should, should be able to just insert these into there. I might actually do it now. One second, chat. I want to look at my, my fin. Give me one second. I'm just quickly looking at my, my template. I just want to check something. I may actually do this now. I've cut a piece of the sword away for this to fit in. Yeah, fuck it, I am. I usually do this after, but it means I've got less sanding to do around here in general. So it's going to cut off a big section of the sword that I don't have to sand. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to quickly... Cut this area away. Like I know there's an area of the sword that I'll need to replace back after, but two second job really, if I'm honest. And then let's put that out of the way. Give yourself a bit of room. Out of the way with you. Also, this will help me visualize now of where I've got to do sanding. And I've got a bit here that I need to do. I always do these bits last. These are always last. Now you're roughly in the space you need to be. You've got to go there. Uh, the reason why I'm going to do this is you put the sword where that needs to go that's where it's going to fit there and the only bit of sword that's going to be shown is in there obviously I can't get my judgments of how much sanding I need to do on each side so what I'm going to do this is I'm just going to cut this whole section away and this is 30 mil altogether and this is 20 mil we're going to put it dead center and it will give me a rough representation of how much side I've got in each bit. But you see it once we've done it now. We're committed. We're going to cut it. We're committed, chat. Uh, I want to use my bigger blade. This is where this comes in handy. Let's go straight down the foam. And get rid of bits. It's a good thing about having these bigger blades is that you can literally go through 10 to 12, I mean, wherever the blade is, you can go through. Just to ensure I've gone through it all. I have. Get out of the way. Please be careful with these blades. It doesn't have to be perfect cuts. It's literally just gotta fix those cuts up after. As long as it's cut through, we can cut them out. I didn't go through that one there. So just do this. Now, I'll switch to my better one. Just to clean up. I, mean, I could use my sander as well to clean this up. Which I probably will do. Alright, there we go. So now, that's now basically junk do is line it up to where we cut it 
And there is your ferryman cutlass. Already in. And you can see that's how it's going to kind of sit. So I need to get the alignment correctly, but I'm just holding it in place. So there's your alignment of how it's going to fit. Now I can see already, I haven't got to do too much sanding now. Same with the front. I haven't got to do a lot of sanding. I need to get some five mil foam or this bit here. Basically sit here. And that will go up there. Perfect. All right, let's get these last bits glued. You're glued, you're glued, you're glued. You're not, you're glued. Scrap foam to transfer. I've got a better piece. There we go. All right, two bits. The line is up. Once they're lined, flip them. Don't need you anymore. Line up properly. Yep, cool. Put them like that. Scrap foam there. How's it going? It's going good, sir. We've got majority of everything stuff together now. Okay, oh, yeah. I need that for now. So the blade's been cut out with the groove cut out for the unicorn. Just wait for these bits to dry over there. So this bit now fits perfectly into there. You have the unicorn. Obviously, I'm having to hold it in place right now. It's not perfect, but it will be once I sanded it down. But, uh, yeah. It's just that perfect groove. Like, it actually comes out five millimeters on both sides the way I wanted it. Just going to double check that. So we'll get a centimeter tool. And that equals up to five millimeters there. That one equals up to five millimeters. Perfect. So I was right, thank God. Yep, yeah, 30 millimeters, 20 millimeter, stick at the halfway point. Gives you five millimeters extra on both sides. Job done. To get that uh, indent of what the, the sword looks like. I mean, it looks a little bit bigger in the the picture. But once you've sanded it down and everything, it will come together. Right now, we're literally just waiting for these bits here to glue. And then I can put a, like a, a mini demo of it all stuck to, like, sitting together. Just cleaning up a little bit of bits on the table. Just don't clear stuff up. Street Raiders, let that. The button lets me press the button. Hit it. Hello. 
There's loads of orcs on a bloody party. Okay, no matter, dead anyway. It's literally goblin catapults, lol. Collect. Collect. Alright, I'm gonna kick this one off, but obviously after this one we're not gonna do any more until I get back later on for streaming. But I know, uh, I wanna try and at least get a couple of these done for every time we play. Because it's all those chests, man, all those goodies. Which everyone wants, right? <laughs> Alright, one second, just checking that. That's that template I wanted. And that's that one, of course. Cool. Alright, you ready? You ready? Nice. So again, go with a curvature with these. So, top to top. Side to side. And you can see I'm going at an angle. I'm only doing this side first, leaving that side really open. It will pull apart, but once it's got enough stuck, it'll be fine. Yeah. Also, don't be afraid to bend the foam. Like, if it's not going to, like, hit, it's not going where I wanted it, so I'm just pulling it back a bit and stick it down. Foam's really, like, manipulative. You can just pull it back in places you need to. Again, it's got these little little flaky parts on it. Sound the crap out of that. Bending technique. Just make sure it's stuck. He's stuck. No, yeah, just give it. Basically, by you doing that, you've just created loads of tension here, so you've ensured that's definitely stuck down. All right. Now it's the part that I like doing. Seeing it all together. Roughly. First things first. The blade. I'll get room so you guys can all see it all. I'm gonna put the blade there. And then we have this bit here. It slots in there perfectly. Look at that. And we have for demo purposes, we're gonna use this as the hilt guard. Just for demo. That over a little bit more and we have that there and you have this bit I keep getting confused by this bit let's keep getting confused so i need to find my template this is your last page god damn you every single time all right so you go here which you can't see You see that? You can see that. Cool. So that bit goes there. For this bit here, I'm easily going to manipulate it or I can put it in here and then force bend it around. And then the pen will be used as a guard. That is roughly the block out of the sword. The only bits I need to cut out is this bit and this bit, but I need to get measurements. What I'm going to do is once I've done all this bit, then I'll come in and do these bits after. That is majority of the block out process of the sword bits are all stuck together we've blocked it out i'm actually really happy with this um the only thing that i would probably if i was to go back and probably redo any of this i mean i could still do it now is i might end up adding probably another five centimeter uh, five millimeters on this 
just to bring it up a little bit more for sanding purposes. Uh, but what I'll do is I'm going to sand it. See how it looks. If I don't like it, I've got the template. Which I can always just redo, recut out and increase the volume of the foam. You know, to increase what I want to need to. Oh, and this bit here. I forgot. Ugh. Which is that bit there. And obviously we've still got bits as well. If I put that there, we've got the mouth to cut out. We've got this bit that I've painted in black uh, there that needs to be cut out on the sword as well. So it's pretty transparent. Uh, nothing's there. We've got the eyes to do all of these lines are my guidelines for sanding. And this bit here, which I need to draw onto the foam will not be sanded. It will be a pure flat like it is in the picture. But it's a pure flat. It's got a little bit of a bevel on it. The way I'm going to do the bevel is I can actually indent the foam just a little tiny bit and it will actually give me that bevel shape. Because it may just bevels just a tad here. Just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. So there's a way I can kind of cheat that. But I just on either side, just 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 do that a little tiny bit on both sides. It's easy enough to do. But obviously I don't do any sanding on stream because uh, it does take a long time and I won't be sanding today because it's just started raining you assholes plus I want to stream as well later on tonight <laughs> double stream today but all right has anyone got any questions Does anyone want to know anything before we start wrapping up anything anyone want to know uh, if you all wanted to see the template as well, let me get the template up. In case everyone's actually wanted to see the template. This is the template. So here's how I've done the template. Literally, everyone asks me, oh, what program do you usually make your templates? Microsoft Paint. It works. So I drew it on, duplicate it down below. Drew, duplicate it down below. So all the parts that I need. Obviously, I didn't do these because I knew I knew the size of that for the handle, and I knew the size. These I need to estimate, I guess. Uh, what noise does a giraffe make? Ask Danny. Why is the sky blue? That would be something to ask a scientist. I'm not a scientist, sadly. I found science. <laughs> hey, at least I'm brutally honest about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this. We need to transfer that to there, take a couple of minutes. And then we've also got this bit on the foam, which has got how I want the handle to kind of be with the curves. So sand in it. And I'll have these bits here to do as well. So yeah. One second, guys. I mean, Uh, so if you, so by the way, what just happened? My parents are now buggering off to the caravan for the the week. So I'm alone for a week. Yay! Uh, if you choked on a sausage roll, does that mean I choked on sausage? Yes. <laughs> uh. How do you like your chances in a tourney tomorrow? Uh, if I'm honest, I never go into the expectation of any tournament to like, I'm going to win it. I just go in there and play it. Yeah, just take each, each. It goes for any tournament I've been in. This, Sea of Champions, anything. And even on the seas, I just take things, just see how things happen. Win, lose. And learn and adapt. Yeah, but just eat. Rip egg. You have five people asked uh, to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, good, dude egg, you're, you're good at the game, dude. You are really good at the game. Don't underestimate yourself. You are stupidly good at the game. It's a good mindset. 
uh, it's a split fi uh, fire. Like, like I, I, I get, I get competitive when it comes to in these spins. But I've got into the mindset now that whenever I sink in adventure mode or competitions, anything, learn, adapt. Why did you sink? What can you do different? What we need to change? You know, learn and adapt in situations. Some situations are literally completely out of your hand. You can't come back from them. Shit happens. <laughs> exactly, Egg. <laughs> Always hope for the best, we expect the worst. Um, basically, you've always just got to be on your toes, right? You've always got to be on your toes. 100%. All right, so I know we have got a Stream Raiders battle up for another 19 minutes, but I'm going to leave that running in the background. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go and hit someone with Raid. Let's go and Raid someone. Oh, shit, I just knocked over my vape. That's not a good sign. God damn it. You always give the worst and people are amazed by your best <laughs> lol prepare for the worst hope for the best yeah uh all right we're gonna go hit up hey there's so many new streamers i've seen recently as well i need to clear up my follower list like some people don't even stream anymore i really need to fix that nice congratulations buddy Alright, we're going to hit up Beard. We love him, we hate him. But Beard again is a part of my crew for Sea of Champions. We're going to show him some love. Why are you not working? Mm. Yeah, I know, Egg, right? Yeah, yeah, they, they totally are. Like, he's mods, especially that Zalorum guy. No. <laughs> guys it's been a pleasure having every single one of you here thank you so much for sticking around thank you for asking all the questions as well about things that you want to know about this and if you do want to know please let me know and i'll try and get back to you next time we do another stream for cosplaying hopefully it will be next weekend hopefully which i should have everything sanded and prepped for basically when we stick all this bad boy together so it'll be a short stream next week that basically is literally just sticking this together and do some detail on the work but very short stream but I've really had a lot of fun. I hope you've all had a lot of fun. Thank you for all the uh, followers as well and the hosts. It's been much appreciated. And the resub as well from Danny. It's been much appreciated. Pin the stream confirmed. Yep, 100%. Guys, go show a bit some love. And I should catch you all in a couple of hours when I'll be back on about 8 o'clock for a second stream on the seas. Later. Take care. Stay safe. Love you.